Vet Mark Abrahams joins us now. We'll take a, a handful of calls, unfortunately, from the thousands of, of, of inquiries that we've had. Lindsay's on the phone. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Phil. Hi. Hi. Uh, so your puppy was stolen. Yeah, our, um, we had a French bulldog puppy, Betty, was taken from our own garden. Um, my it... husband was actually in the garden with her, and um, since I'm petrified to let my kids in the garden, you know, she's still missing. We're doing everything we can. There she is, Peter. Um, oh. We're appealing anybody with any information, please, please get in touch. Cause how did they my get kids her? Heartbroken. If she was, if she was in the garden with your husband, how did they get her? We've got a very, very low wall. We, we live in the middle of nowhere. There's hardly any people who drive past, hardly any cars. We've got security cameras, and there was just a there was just a blind spot in between the cameras. And I think they must have literally just been waiting for her and scooped her up over the wall. So now a man has rung up claiming to have her and is demanding £500 for her return. Yeah, he wants the cash up front in a post office account. Before okay. And you don't know whether this is... He's got the dog. Could and be a scam. Yeah, it could be a scam. It's definitely a scam. What she yeah, do? we're not. We're, it, there's a lot of it going around. We've we've joined all sorts of groups, and we know that lots of people are doing it. Oh, that's awful. No. What does she do? Well, well, Lindsay. First of all, incredibly sorry for your loss. Um, we were just saying earlier how unbelievable it is for for back gardens to be targeted in the way they are. Um, obviously, my first impression is. Don't pay. Uh, it's a police matter from now on, and you need to contact the police. Um, and you also need to look at all sites. It's a classic dog to be stolen. It's a young French bulldog. It's a young designer breed. Uh, this dog is going to be either used for breeding or potentially sold on. So check out all the sites that are selling animals. Unfortunately, in this country, we don't have any laws stopping websites selling animals still. So it could be on Gumtree or any other website. Uh, so I check out all the sites selling animals, check out all the French bulldog forums, uh, and basically just keep, keep contacting rescue centres keep contacting uh, the dog warden and local veterinary surgeries and make as much noise as we said earlier yeah. guys on social was media was she chipped she's chipped yeah but we need a vet we need her to get to a vet in order to scan For them her. to yeah. scan her. And, yeah. that, and that's and that's uh, and that's the other thing it's compulsory to have your dog chipped in this country but it's not compulsory for your dog to be scanned in this country. Mm. So all these dogs and animals are passing through veterinary surgeries and, and uh, if, if a vet chooses to, he can scan it, uh, but if he doesn't, it's not against no. the law. So. And well, the technology exists and it's there, the dog is chipped, you would think that it would be standard procedure, just like any, any transaction or you know, any there's, work. There's a, there's a fantastic campaign called Vets Get Scanning, which is run again by voluntary uh, uh, charity, uh, which has been campaigning for this for years and still the government say, no, we just want a compulsory microchip, but not to compulsory scan. So it's again, it's a, it's a it's missed crazy. opportunity in legislation. Well, we've made some noise about her this morning. We've shown her picture on the telly, so, you know, Thank I you, just Lindsay. hope that one day you get reunited with her.